Welcome back to Domingo Live. Good to have you with us here por la mañana. Saludos a todos nuestros amigos que nos están viendo a través del país uh, via Watch Live, Domingo Live, KTRLITV.com. Uh, saludos también para todos nuestros amigos que nos están viendo aquí en the Coastal Bend. That's right. Bienvenidos. Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros. En este segmento, we've got our guest, our musical guest, Michael Salgado and company. That's right. Uh, toda la familia aquí con ustedes. Es todo. Good to have you, brother. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for having us again. It's been a little while. And I'm right. glad to be back. And when uh, was the last time you were on the show? It was years ago, right? I, I think I, I barely remember what I did last week. So. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ask don't answer that. That's a tough question. <laughs> tough question. You, you've got a tour. It's called En Vivo Tour 2023. That's right. Platícanos eso. Bueno, we've been, we've kind of already gotten started with that, verdad? Uh, todo, todo este año. And so we've got a lot of shows coming up this year. You know, we're going to be in Vegas July 7th for the Tejano Takeover out there. We're going to be doing uh, the Midwest here in a couple of weeks, like Lansing, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, we've got some other dates lined up here in Texas as well that we've got, uh, I think we've got, uh, I think it's a Pena, I think it's Pena County Fair. I'm not sure if it's, if I'm saying it correct. Right? Pima County. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've got that show coming up. A lot of other shows California. that are coming up. We're going to be in California on the 23rd in, uh, Cutler, California. Okay. Then we're going to be in Newark, California. Okay. And so uh, want to invite everybody to come and join us out there. So we've got, you know, kind of spread out everywhere. Sure. And uh, so, you know, we're pretty glad about being on the road. Sure. And, and, and you're planning a very, very special trip. And if you've been wanting to take a cruise for a while, oh, we have yeah. a cruise coming up the Tell first week that. of January. How does she know about that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so January yeah, 21st, that right? January 21st. I mean, January from the 7th through the 13th, right? Okay. We're going to be on, on, on the uh, uh, Tejano Cruise. And I've been posting that on all my social media. So, you know, I'll be I'll be putting that up where people know where to go. Sure. And I, I think it's Tejanosinparadise.com, um, I think, is, is the cruise, right? Yeah. Tejanos in Paradise Cruise. So we're going to be on that from the 7th through the 13th of January 2024. So make your plans. It's going to be some party, like I tell people every now and then, right? <laughs> so you guys got to be out. It's going to be a lot of a lot of artists out there, a lot of bands, and, of course, a lot of good time. Que bien, que bien. And this is all part of the uh, the En Vivo tour that you guys have going. Así es. You're going to be all over the country. I know that in California, you got a massive following. That's that's where we started uh, the radio show back with the nice. Global Countdown. And that's where we interviewed Michael for the very first time uh, way right. back, when, 1986, yeah. I think, something like that. Wow. Um, big following in the Central Valley, especialmente, because there's so many Tejanos displaced yeah. Tejanos that live there that now they've made California their right. home. Mm -hmm. But you can be all over the country. Yeah, we, we've got some other shows here in in, uh, in Texas. Like we're going to be in Midland. Um, it's, it's, it's coming up, yeah, this Saturday. And then Sunday we'll be in Round Rock. Uh, you know, I'm trying to remember the dates here. It's just kind of kind of tough. What we got? We've got Floresville, a big July festival out there July 1st. And so um, uh, we've got some other dates in July. We're going to be in Abilene, Texas. We're going to be in Stanton, Texas for kind of our, you know, hometown area. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing the Jamaica there. So we hope people come out and, and check us out. It's kind of where we started, you know. Sure. It's our it's our, our backyard. And so we, we're glad to be going back there, small sure. little town. And uh, we've got some other dates in July following that also. Vegas. August, you know, so yeah, of course, Vegas. So just be looking up. We're going to be posting up. You know, of course, I do my videos every week on instagram i'm under official michael salgado remember it's official michael salgado i've got a lot of hackers out there oh, so wow. make sure to i've got <laughs> one page people ask me every week like uh, do, you know you got a new page out no it's the same page you know report the other ones uh, even on TikTok. you know i'm under TikTok. i've got uh also what's the other one uh, snapchat under el surdo michael mm -hmm. and so uh Pretty much everywhere, you know, the website, MikeSalgado.com, for the dates, for merchandise, check out all our latest. And, um, you know, I keep everybody up to date there every week. Sure. Now, I know that you mentioned earlier uh, Stanton, and, and, and you're kind of remembering how you started. Share with our audience how Michael Salgado got started. Well, you know, we, we got, uh, we our background is kind of from the country, farming. My dad is kind of where he got started, Eddie Neo Salgado, you know, my mom out there, and so, uh, you know, we grew up in Los Ranchos, and, and my dad, was he was a mu musician, you know, back in the day. And, you know, I remember watching him, and then, you know, he got he got away from the, the music, but he always had that music in him. He always had a guitar at home, so, you know, that's how we got started. And throughout the years, he, he decided to do a band, 
And so I got in with him. He was playing accordion at the time. I started on the bass. And, you know, Ernie at that time, so he was kind of getting into it, playing the cowboy and whatever, right? Sure. And that's how we got started. <laughs> and I think me and him tried out also messing around with the drums, but yeah. drums wasn't sure. for me. I mean, I played, I think, bass. I played some bajo, you know, guitar and sure. keyboard, different things like that. So throughout the years, we kind of found our place, right? I mean, I, I, I always kind of did lead vocals. My dad did segunda. So then, I, you know, I kind of experimented. I think I kind of wanted to learn a little bit of the bajo, but then I went to the accordion. You know, because one of my biggest influences, I think everybody knows, is uh, Don Ramon Ayala, right? So, yeah. you know, I was like, well, I want to be an accordion guy too. And, you know, so I went from bass to accordion. Then my dad just kind of sang uh, backups. And then Ernie, I think, went to the bass from there. Yeah. And then from there, we kind of, you know, and then as time passed, and he went to the bajo sexto. Sure. And so, you know, at the time we had Joe and Padre Scanza on the bass, and uh, my compadre Jaime. You know, so, so as time passed, you know, some changes went on going. So now, you know, got my son-in-law Edward on the bass, mm -hmm. and we got little Chris now that's on the drums. Yes. But you know, it, Chris, we kind of started. <laughs> yeah, we kind of started in the in the farm. You know, we drove John Deere tractors. We worked the fields. Uh, a lot of people don't know that about us, but you know, we sold vegetables door to door. We we cut grass, you know. We, yeah, if we, my dad could do it, we did it, you know. I mean, it's like <laughs> we we fixed lawnmowers. I mean, we did it all, you know. My dad didn't have us sitting at home, and so we learned how to, you know, survive in life. And and uh, so when we went to music, I told my brother, well, thank God we're gonna play now." <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's good. You got some good stuff. Right. And, but you know, it taught us to survive, and, and, and yeah. sometimes it's what you need, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Something that I've been hearing throughout the whole time that you've been talking is family. And it's very important to Definitely. Michael Salgado. It's very important to, of course, Ernie and the guys. And on the road, it's family. Yeah, I mean, and I got, my, I got my, my son, Michael Jr., and my daughter, Katrina, that work on the road, you know. And so, you know, it's, it's kind of important. And, you know, you have people that, you know, that you can trust. I mean, this business is tough. So, you know, you got I, I like having a family. And you got my brother with me since the beginning. Sure. So, you know, it, it, it works out. And, and, you know, my dad comes every now and then. And hangs out my mom while well, we kind of stay connected sure. with her as well because you know she's she, she's done great throughout the years absolutely bringing us up and you know being there for us and my dad too so he's always been a big supporter and all the family my sister you know who's kind of in the back you know but yeah. but my sister Elizabeth she's always been there and and so it's great you know to be able to to have that that family around you while we're we yes. do what we love because this you know we're living the dream, and if you can wake up every day and do what you love, you know that you're that much ahead. Yeah, you're not. And you're not really working. Yeah, that's right. right. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the uh, fruits of their labor through a video that that Michael and everybody's produced, and we want to share that with you when we come back. We're right here on the Mingo Line. Stick around.